Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are reacting to Urban Spooks Analog Horror Hell. This is the ninth episode of what is a 10 episodical series called The Painter. And we're not really going to get into the controversy of The Painter. Uh, a lot of people think it's gore for the sake of gore, and it touches on themes that maybe shouldn't be touched on. I'm not going to make any arguments for or against. I'm just here to react to the content. I've got this far with it, so I thought, you know what, let's just see it through to the end. And from what I've seen of Urban Spook is that they actually are trying to have a narrative in place and it's not just like kills for the sake of kills or how like disgusting can I get with this? I remember reading a comment on a Wendigoon video from Urban Spook saying that he is really going to be trying making a good narrative story. So like I said, this is called Analog Horror Hell. We're going to see if they have stepped up their game in this episode. And the last one I remember, there was a like ring door cam footage of the two killers. And that was different because usually it was just, it's just the form of painting, text, uh, painting, text, that kind of analog horror. Here we go. So be sure to subscribe and check out Urban Spook down below. Go watch for yourself, like the video, all that good stuff if you enjoyed. And if you enjoy my reaction video, why not leave a like, rate and subscribe. Check out the merch in the description down below. There's this design along with two other designs that you can go cop yourself. It ends November 30th. And uh, we're just going to jump straight into this. Here we go, guys. Warning, this video contains extremely graphic and disturbing content. Okay, that's... Last night, police got an anonymous tip about trespassers in an abandoned textile and paint factory. Oh, okay, so that's the killer. So there's two killers, guys. The call had been made from a telephone booth not too far from the site. See, now, I'm not sure whether or not... Sorry to pause here, but I'm just throwing in my two cents. I'm not sure if one of them paints what they want the victims to go through and the other one does it or if they're painting after what they do to them already. The call had been made from a telephone booth not too far from the site. Oh dear. In a workshop outside the factory, police found a shocking discovery. There's actual found footage here. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, so this is an improvement. It's not just picture text, painting. Body parts from five different victims were found inside. See, the thing about this, guys, is that I guess a lot of people were disgusted by it because it, it was horror that they weren't used to. Horror is horror. There's no like conventional horror. Um, there's different types of horror. There's body horror. There's, you know, uh, ghosts, cosmic horror. There's different. And this is just, I guess, touches on a lot of nerves because it's a realistic type of horror. Like this thing, this person could be out there, um, like a real life person. I guess that's why people feel uncomfortable watching stuff like this. Okay. So is that like a barrel full of body parts there? Some remains have been sewn together into something resembling clothing. Damn, it's Ed Gein or whatever their name is. Leatherface. That's crazy. So it's very Silent Hillish. A set of stairs led down into what would be dubbed the cage room. The cage room. It was evident that the room had been lived in for a long time. The missing remains of known victims as well as an unidentifiable body were found here. How many people have these guys killed, man? Good lord, how did they get away with this? Must be a power drill massacre in a way. The room was oozing with the stench of death. That's literally a kill factory right there. That's... Ugh. A body in a state of severe decay was lying on the mattress. Man, no care in the world. On a table in the room was a camera along with three th photos. So I say photos. Three photos. I like this found footage style though. <clears throat> it's very different from what we're used to seeing. Here are the photos. Okay, so these aren't paintings. These are actual photos of people. Okay, well, they were gimped out. Oh my god, it reminds me of a... Uh, a bowl outside the cage was filled with human urine. Oh, they were drinking out of that. Oh my god, that's disgusting. It reminds me of the newest VHS that's out. I forgot what it's called. Is it VHS Beyond? <laughs> I forgot what it's called. 
I watched it recently. Inside the cage, the missing remains of Corey and Margaret Beck were found soon together. Oh God, yeah. Let's not talk about Corey. That was one of the um, controversial things. Damn. Beside the mattress stood a bucket containing several... Right. You know, um... So, you gotta think, guys. Detectives and homicidal detectives, they have to go through stuff like this. They, you know, there's... Not all the time. Usually it's just like a, a murder... A, a murder in, like, passion or whatever. Someone's killed. But every now and then, they come across a person who just... Completely messes with your with what a human is capable of doing to another human inside the factory itself more gruesome discoveries would be made in what once had been the locker room two bodies were found hanging from the same rope from the same rope jesus just leaving these bodies lying around man one of them could be identified as Jim Lee. The other body was unidentifiable. Okay, so these are obviously past victims. Um, I can't really remember all the names. Only certain ones stick out. Deeper inside the factory, police found what would be dubbed the paint room. Okay, so this is where they would do the paintings. Where are these guys now? So they found the factory. Here, several paintings were found. They said there was a call to the factory. So maybe it was the killers themselves. Oh my goodness, one of them seemed to be unfinished. While most are unknown, some of the paintings could be linked back to victims as far as five years ago. Good lord. When did this series start again? I completely forgot. Here are the paintings. Oh god, here we go. Emma's last smile. Good god. Bloated Betty. Ooh. Mac the Machine. I don't even want to know about that. Milk Teeth Heath. The Collins. Untitled. That just looks like a face mask. Looks like Leatherface. In the ceiling of the next room, the missing Jones family were found. Oh my god. This is so brutal. chain had been dragged through their bodies oh my god this is literally some silent hill shit right here they were all in different states of decomposition oh so it's like the freaking human centipede oh my god that's vile in the basement of the building more bodies were found how many people? How did they get away with doing this for so long? Four victims had been partly eaten. These guys are just like... They're like all serial killers joined into one person. Demonic. The identity of these victims are yet unknown. Here, police also found their colleague, Sarah Stone, and her husband. Okay, so they, that was in the last video, I believe. They were joined together. Their mouths had been sewn to each other. Right. Okay. Just absolute d degeneracy, isn't it? They both had been force-fed rocks. What? My God. Going even further down, the police entered the sewer system. I think this is the... This could be the worst one. There's so many freaking bodies here. How far down does this thing go? Here the police found what would end up being the turning point of the case.
This is like a saw trap right here. What does that even say? Hal. Once you've been to Hal, you never come back. I mean, you, you're in the deepest pits of Hal. To do these things to these people, it's the loudest here. So that's why this one's called Hal. The phrase, once you've been to Hal, you never come back, is something Tina Rosenberg said in an interview not long after surviving her attack. Here is the clip from the interview. Do you think that you've recovered from this ordeal? I'll never recover. Oh my god, this is real life. I'll never be the same. Those people took me to hell. And once you've been in hell, you never come back. Oh my god, they really upped the production value here. This prompted authorities to conduct a wellness check on Tina Rosenberg, who was living with her mother at the time. There wasn't, like, protection on her. You've got these two serial killers out and about roaming, still out, yeah, still out there, and she survived an attack. Surely they would have protection. Officer Nathan Carl was the first to respond since he was in the area. What he encountered in that house was truly bizarre. Oh, God. This is the footage from Nathan's body camera. Oh my God. Body cam footage. Oh, prepare yourselves, guys. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Holy shit, look at that thing! Oh, he shot one of them. Let me see your hands right now! Let me see your hands! How in the name of God is no one else in the neighborhood hearing this? Uh, they responded to this because it was a wellness check. Do not move! Do you understand? Bro, you saw what they- I would just shoot this thing straight away. I mean, uh... Oh, look at that. That's so horrible. Imagine that thing standing over you. Okay, listen. I oh, know, we can't tell her to stop screaming. You're kind of safe now. Is she safe? It stopped. Hang on. Did it do that on purpose? Hang on. Oh, God, it stops. This is... Oh, this is giving me shit. Oh, okay. Oh, that gave me goosebumps. What's happening? Tina's eyes and ears had been punctured with a pair of knit... Oh my god. Oh my god. I'd be screaming like that too. Eyes and ears. Oh my god. She was not aware that she was being rescued and kept screaming for 20 minutes. Oh my god. Oh, that's so horrible. Holy, that's making me feel a certain type of way. Tina's mother, Sienna Rosenberg, had been dismembered in the kitchen. The autopsy revealed that the killer behind the mask was former police officer Bill Collins. <laughs> Presumed dead, police are still not sure why his DNA was found with his family's remains. What? Mona Linnaeus was apprehended by Officer Nathan Cole. Okay, whoa. 
She's confessed to more than 100 murders and is now awaiting trial. Wait, what? This seems like the end. Whoa. My God. I mean, uh, they... they I swear Urban Spook said that there's going to be 10 episodes all together. And that was the ninth one. But that just seems like it... How is it going to... Unless there's another killer out there, potentially. How, are they, how would they end that all? How would they wrap it all up? Because it feels like... Oh, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to wrap that up. Because it feels like that's leading on to something more happening. Like, they, they've been apprehended. They're, they're waiting trial. Are they going to get broken out? Or are they... Maybe the last episode is this killer being executed potentially the third arm inside the candle wax mountain was bills yeah i don't understand this how tina wasn't under constant surveillance is beyond unreasonable like bro isn't the fbi involved at all at this point yeah this th like there is a lot of victims at this point it, bro doubled down on everything he's been critiqued for gotta respect it yes that one sent me silent as you can see here guys someone's like put down all of the murders that have been recorded look at that i mean you guys can read that if you want that's disgusting my god well there we go guys that was episode nine i don't even know if there's going to be an episode 10 here's the thing why were these tapes in this person's basement apartment complex that's worrying to me if i was to find these tapes inside my apartment complex I don't think I'll be able to sleep there. Knowing that, like, why are those tapes there? Someone put those tapes there. Well, well, we'll have to see, guys, how this is wrapped up. But I don't know how this is going to go down with a lot of people. I mean, like I said, there's different versions of horror, you know? There can't just be conventional horror. Like, for example, um, The Terrifier, that new film that's out, that's... That has a similar vibe in terms of like, I haven't seen it, but I've heard that this the, the latest one that got released shocked a lot of people. And it was just kind of like gory and violent for the sake of being violent and gory. Um, but that's just what some horrors are, you know? Like, it's not just monster scary or whatever or ghost. Um, some horrors are like this. Just horrible, horrible for a very human reason. Like, this feels like it could actually happen to you or... Yeah, so it's, it's pretty pretty messed up i mean you know what it shocked me i it sent me silent it gave me goosebumps so it did what it was meant to do for sure and you know i thought this would the production value of this one was definitely raised up so i respect urban speak for that but my god was that something was that something indeed there we go guys that is where we're going to end this video today i hope you did enjoy if you did be sure to go check out Urban Spook. I don't know when this last video is going to be released. The last one was a year ago. So it could be another year we're waiting for this one. Or you could end it within this year. Who knows? There we go. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I don't know. That word seems a little bit not the right word to use. Let's just say that. If you enjoyed my reaction, why not leave a like rating, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.